Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Abdurrahman Rahman Turkman from Afghanistan. In today's video, I am going to show you three ways to fix iPhone stuck on Apple logo. If you have an iPhone that is stuck at the Apple logo and keeps restarting by itself, then in this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to fix it without erasing your iPhone. So make sure you watch this video till the very end and I'm pretty sure one of these methods will help you fix your iPhone's problem. And if you fix your iPhone problem after watching this video, then you have to make a deal. And the deal is to like and share this video with your friends. So, do we have the deal? Mm-hmm. Yes? Great. So let's get started. As you can see here, I have an iPhone 6s which is stuck on Apple logo. And whenever I try to turn it on by pressing and holding the power button, this device does not turn on. As you can see, I'm pressing and holding the power button, but it's not turning on. It only turns on whenever I plug in a charger. After plugging in the charger, this device turns on, the Apple logo appears, and it turns back off. Just like this. It just keeps restarting by itself, which is called boot loop. If you have similar problem with your iPhone, if your iPhone is also stuck at the Apple logo, then first of all, try to hard reboot your iPhone, which is our first method. The key combination is different for different iPhone models. So if your iPhone is iPhone 6s or older, then the key combination is press and hold the power button and home button. Just keep pressing these two buttons until you see the Apple logo. Whenever you see the Apple logo, just release both buttons. So now I'm pressing these two buttons, but my device is not booting up. As you can see, nothing is happening. So try this method by yourself. If it works, great. If it doesn't, then skip to the next method. Now let me show you how you can hard reboot your iPhones other than the iPhone 6s. So if you have an iPhone 7 or iPhone 8, the key combination is different. And the key combination is Press and hold the power button and volume down button. Just keep pressing these two buttons. Your device will turn off. And when this lo Apple logo appears, just let go of both buttons. After that, your iPhone should be fixed. And now let me show you how you can hard reboot the iPhone, which is iPhone 10 or later. So here's my iPhone 12 Pro Max and the key combination for these phones are Press volume up button, volume down button. After that, keep pressing the power button. Your device will turn off. When it turns back on, you will see the Apple logo. Whenever you see the Apple logo, just release both buttons. After that, your iPhone should be fixed. Our second method is using a software to fix an iPhone that is stuck on the Apple logo. And for this method to work, you will need a Windows or Mac computer with active internet connection. And the software I'm going to use is called Tenoshare Reiboot. You can get the software from the link given in the video description below. As I said before, this software is also available for Windows users. So just go ahead, download and install the software. I will leave the link of the software in the description below. So after installing it, just open it up. Next, click on start. As you can see, this software gives you two options to fix an iPhone that is stuck at the Apple logo. The first option is standard repair. If you fix your problem using standard repair, then it will not erase your iPhone data. And if you try to repair your iPhone with this option, the second option, it will repair your iPhone, but it will also erase everything from your iPhone. So in my case, I'm going to go with standard repair because I don't want to lose my iPhone data. After that, click on this blue button. Next, you need to get your iPhone into recovery mode. This software gives you instructions for every iPhone models. So you need to select the options accordingly. Now let me put my iPhone into recovery mode. And if your iPhone is different than mine, then you don't have to worry. Just follow the instructions provided by the software. So in my case, I'm going to follow the instructions. And whenever you see this screen, you are good to go. 
after putting your iPhone into recovery mode, iTunes will open and will give you this message. iTunes is asking me to update or restore the phone, which I'm not going to do because if I click on update or restore, iTunes will erase everything from my iPhone, which I don't want. So all you have to do is cancel it and close the iTunes. All right. After that, this software is asking you to download the latest iOS version for your device. There are two ways to download the latest iOS version, which is also called firmware. The first option is downloading the firmware through the software. If you click on download, it will start downloading the software automatically. So I'm just going to cancel it. And the other option is downloading the firmware through a web browser. In order to download the firmware through browser, just click on this link. It will open up the browser and it will start downloading the firmware automatically. So I'm just going to cancel it because I already have one. So I'm going to select the firmware which I downloaded. After that, click on this blue button and it will start fixing your iPhone problem. During this process, do not disconnect your iPhone. Just leave it as it is. Once the repairing process is completed, if you see this green check mark, that means the software was successful to repair your iPhone. After that, your iPhone will restart. After restarting, you should have your iPhone fixed just like this. As you can see, now my iPhone is working perfectly. Now all you have to do is go through all the setup process. And remember, your data will not be erased. After that, when you get to this activation lock screen, just tap your Apple ID and password and tap on next and go through all those process. In my case, I don't have the Apple ID and password because this is not my phone. This is one of my friend's phone and he gave me to fix the problem that this iPhone had. If I had the Apple ID and password, I would have definitely show you. And I can get his Apple ID and password but the thing is I'm filming this video at this time. As you can see. I am filming this video at 2.30 in the morning and he might be sleeping. So I hope you understand that. So just go ahead, tap your Apple ID and password, go through all those process and those process are very simple. You don't have to worry. After that, you will have your phone fixed, including all your data will be safe. Okay, before I go to the next method, there are some things that you should know about the software that I used in this method. The software I used is not free, you have to purchase it. Even after purchasing the software, you couldn't fix your iPhone's problem, then you don't have to worry. You have two options. The first option is contact their support team. And the second option is get a refund. This software has money back guarantee, so you don't have to worry about your money. So with that said, let's jump to the next method. Our third method is DFU restoring your iPhone with iTunes. DFU means device firmware update. And remember, DFU restoring will erase everything from your iPhone. And it's completely free. If you want to fix your iPhone's problem without erasing it, then go to the second method. And if you don't mind losing your iPhone's data, but still want to fix your iPhone problem, then keep watching. As you saw, I got my problem fixed using the second method, but I'm still going to show you how you can DFU restore your iPhone. Now let me show you how you can DFU restore your iPhone with iTunes. So in my case, I'm using a MacBook and if you are using a MacBook or Windows computer, just open up iTunes. So in my case, this computer doesn't have iTunes because this Mac is running on Mac OS Big Sur and iTunes was removed from this operating system. This version of operating system to be exact. So in your case, situation might be different. So first of all, connect your iPhone to computer using a USB cable. Next, press and hold power button and home button. And again, in your case, the key combination of DFE restoring will be different. So just go ahead and Google it for yourselves. All right, when you get your phone into the screen, the iTunes will pop up on your computer. If it doesn't pop up, then you have to do it manually. So let's jump over to computer screen and I'll show you the rest. After getting your phone into DFU mode, if iTunes doesn't pop up by itself, then you have to do it manually. 
and this is the screen you will see when you open up iTunes on your Windows or Mac computer. Now all you have to do is tap on restore iPhone. After that click on restore. Next just wait for iTunes to restore your iPhone. Okay, once the iTunes is restored your iPhone, this message will pop up. It says your iPhone has been restored to factory settings. Just click on OK and close the iTunes. After that, your phone will restart. After restarting, your problem should be fixed. But as I said before, with this method, iTunes will erase everything on your iPhone. Once your iPhone is restarted, all you have to do is set it up and you are good to go. So that is how you can DFU restore your iPhone with iTunes. So these are my three ways to fix an iPhone that is stuck at the Apple logo. Before making this video, I went through a lot of articles, I watched a lot of YouTube videos and I finally came up with these three solutions for this specific problem. To be honest with you guys, these three are the only options that are available on the internet for this specific problem. So I combined all these options in one single video just to save your time. So I hope you appreciate my effort by liking and sharing this video with your friends. And if your problem still exists even after trying these methods then your last option is to contact Apple. And the best way to do is through Apple's live chat. Just go to Google and search Apple live chat and go to their website and get your problem solved instantly. So yeah that's it for this video. I hope. You guys learned something new from this video if you did then please give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and if you want more videos like this in the future then please subscribe to my channel with notification on and i will catch you on the next one stay blessed stay safe peace